Hello everybody, Aquagear here. Today we are going to be doing a redstone mini. And as you can see, I'm holding a piece of TNT in my hand. That might give you a hint at what we are doing. So, let's begin. Uh, today we are going to be building a TNT launcher. This is going to be really easy and simple and doesn't take a lot of resources. So, what we need to do is add seven dispensers. Okay, now... Uh, take any block I'd use just stone and take uh, and put three blocks and, and keep putting blocks all the way until the end of the seventh dispenser now add one more block and add one more dispenser now take any half slab of your choosing and put it under that dispenser and put another block here and one on top just for safety now just take a piece of uh, take a water source put it right here and if you want, you can put water source along the entire thing, but it's not necessary. Now, uh, take something like a pressure plate, a lever, a button, anything that will activate redstone and put it on this corner. Now take some redstone and uh, run it along these seven dispensers. Now take some repeaters and run it along up until uh, the eighth dispenser. Now make sure to set these to three or four ticks. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure to set them a little bit longer. Now, this is finished. That That is it. All we need to do is add some TNT into them, and we're about done. So let's add some TNT, and we're going to watch it fire. Okay, now that all the TNT is in place, all we need to do is activate the redstone, and it will shoot. As you can see, it works, and it almost never backfires. I'll shoot it one more time just to prove that. Now, I will explain how, how it works. The reason you need water here is because it, when TNT is in water, it explodes, but it doesn't damage anything around it. So make sure to have water here. Of course, the redstone wire just activates these seven, and the repeaters activates this one. But the importance of putting a longer time on the repeaters is because we want these TNT dispensers to, sh to be primed first. And then this one be primed, so this one has time to fly and eventually explode. And it's very simple and doesn't take a lot of resources. So that was it. Thank you for watching. This is Burn Wrestle Mini. And remember to leave a like or a comment and maybe a suggestion on what we should do next. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!